people, my name is Naila, your host for The Art of Living Show. You have no idea whom we have in store for you today. You can't bogle me. I am unbogable. Atoti, Jemoka, Jemoka, Atoti, Aish. I'm sure you already know who that is, guys. He has left an indelible mark in the entertainment industry across music, entertainment, and football. They have captivated audiences worldwide and here in Kenya. Giddy Giddy Maji Maji. So today we are featuring Giddy Giddy I don't know, I, it just sounds like one name, but giddy giddy. <laughs> and we can't wait to hear from him. It's been a while since we heard what he is up to today. Welcome to the show. What the hell is you looking for? Can I young Luo make money anymore? Shake your feet, baby girl, and I know. Maji, maji, nyaku, I don't need you, I'm a Luo, but who are you? What are you? Who the hell do you think you are? Do you know me? Do I know you? Get by the way, guys, I've been dressed by Olga Nato. My stylish outfit looks so magnificent. I hope you love it. Go to her page and get yourself an outfit exactly like this. We found you! <laughs> Giddy! Hello! Manze, you have to do a rendition How for are you? us. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans. Thank you and so Wogabo. much. Thank you so much. Thank you and so much. Atoti. And Atoti. And many faces. Many faces. And so many other The last one, the last one. You're forgotten one. by Malo. That is the first one. That is the first one. That's actually that one. Yes. Today. Hi, guys. Uh? Today. Hey. <laughs> Entertainment galore. As this is an exclusive. Out of living fans. Hey. Naira you had to. and you the had crew, to. <laughs> we are trying our love of us to bring you the best of the best, cream de la cream. Thank Gide, you. Gide, we found you Thank finally. You. We've you. looked for you for a very long time. I know, I know. We've been busy. Then I also felt sick a little bit, but uh, today I have fun time. After Easter, so yes. Thank you welcome. so much. Thank welcome, you. Welcome. So we can come in. Yeah, you can come in. All right. Karibu. Thank you. Here is a gift for you before we go oh, in. Oh, there's a gift. Yes. To actually, just say you thank know, you. I don't have any plant in my house. Yeah. This is actually, the first one. These are okay. live one, yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. So it's beautiful. It's blessings. It's a snake plant. It's beautiful. Ah. And um, it's snake fantastic. Snake plant. Yes, but not. It doesn't have any. <coughs> any no, no connection with the snake. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh -huh. In fact, it's perfect uh -huh. to bring fresh air in the house. Oh, you can put it in the house. I yes, it's it an indoor plant. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Thank you. Thank you so Karibu much. Sana. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for the plan. I don't know if I put it here. Uh huh. Oh, let me let me put it here next to lovely, lovely, my lovely. picture here. Lovely. Because you told me it's uh, an. Uh, a plant that they can put in in the house, yeah? Absolutely. Ah, oh, that looks perfect. Thank you. That looks so beautiful. Thank you. Is that your family? This is my daughter. Okay. This is myself. When, okay. Uh, you look different for yeah, some reason. This is uh, 2016. Okay, uh, you so graduated. Yes, yeah, start more business school. Oh, wonderful. My, my master's. Wonder wow. Yeah. It's the same time that my daughter was born. Actually, um, my daughter was born. When in 20? 2016. 26. Oh, yes. so she's eight years. Yes, she's eight years. Right. Turning eight in May. It's interesting how yeah. you have pursued education. Yes. And, you know, I've been watching you. I love your music. Thank you. Uh, together with Maji Maji. And to be, you're one of the most successful artists today. Thank you. Renowned artists today. Thank I know you. you don't perform now, uh -huh. but I think all artists can look up to you yes. because one, you've pursued education yes. and you're still in the entertainment industry as much as yes. you're, you're a podcaster and yes. you're a radio presenter. Radio, yes. um, why was education so important to you? Uh, I think it's because of the background. You know, we grew up in a very 
you know, a humble background come mm. from Dandora. I don't know if you know Dandora. Dandora is where we grew up. Yeah. And you know there is a matter of how you can make it out of that place. Okay. So you had to do anything possible. Yeah. That's why we had to do, you know, music at the same time. We also had to pursue education. Yeah. And there was also there, there was that push from you that you need to be successful. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Whether it's through education, yes. whether it's through uh, music, talent, and everything. Yeah. So we had to push ourselves. And uh, for me, education has always been part of my life. I had to, you know, work hard in primary school. I was always number one from. Uh, Yes. What? Yes, from uh, class three up to I think eight is when I was number two at the final exam. Unbelievable. Yes. And in addition to that, yes, you are a creative genius. Yes, creativity has also been part of me. Okay. Because I remember when I was in primary school and secondary school, I used to paint. Okay. Actually, people people who I grew up with know me as a painter. Okay. Than even an artist. So where's your art pieces? I I love I, I stopped doing it long time. Even one piece. <laughs> I no longer paint. Giddy. <laughs> I used you to were... do that when I was young. Okay. Yeah. Then music from uh, from high school. Yeah. And when I was in high school is when I started doing music. So after that I forgot about painting. I forgot about drawing. And being an artist. And being a, a, an artist from that perspective. Okay. So when I joined uh, when I started doing music I became an artist but uh, music. Music artist. <laughs> then later, yeah. I joined radio, yes. which is also part of art, Yes. because you need creativity to Absolutely. be on air. Absolutely. So that was another gift, another, another, another gift yes. or, or another stage Talent. in yes. my creativity. Another stage, it I like that. It has been a journey. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. Just thinking about how much of a creative you are, and when I look at your space, yes. you have chosen a minimalist style mm -hmm. in this home. Why is that? Um, and, and, and yet, you uh, are such a creative, I mean, from somebody who's very, I'm actually very curious to see what kind of art you were doing then. Uh, uh, was it abstract? Was it like caricatures? No, what kind of art it, it was, was it? It was more of a landscape, you okay. know, contemporary art. Okay. And painting people, drawing uh, landscapes and, uh, and everything. Okay. T talking of uh, my, my space here, uh, I, I'm a simple man. Okay. I like simplicity. Okay. I don't like crowded places, so okay. uh, that uh, has been my nature. And uh, once I, I have, uh, you know, clutters all over, yeah. I tend to, you know, remove some stuff okay. and then just put simple and uh, uh, simple but uh, functional. All right. Actually, let me put that word, I'm a functional person. I want everything functional. Okay. And that's why maybe you're talking of a minimalistic yes. environment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Then Same. I like this color. I like this uh, a kind of uh, cream, uh, cream mm -hmm. kind of color. Mm -hmm. And the browns. And the browns, that's okay. my color. Your favorite color. Yeah. yeah. When my daughter comes here, yeah. she normally tells me, Daddy, I don't like this, uh -huh. add this here, uh -huh. or Daddy do one of these. So I make uh, a decision impromptu. Okay. So Gidi, I want to mm. show you a trick. My phone, mm -hmm. AI Galaxy S24 Plus. Ah. You can call your daughter Mm -hmm. And it will translate to her in French. Wow. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. So you just, you don't have to struggle. It's AI enabled, yeah? It's AI enabled. Ah. And when she calls you, mm. she can hear you speaking in English. So it's translate. So let me do that for you. Where's your phone? My phone is there. Okay, let me just call you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call Assis. Hello. Hi, Giddy. Hi. Bonjour. Cet appel est traduit et sous-titré en direct. Huh? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I just arrived at your home and thank you so much for the joys. Je viens d'arriver chez vous et je vous remercie beaucoup pour les joies. Oh my. <laughs> I'm going to surprise my, my daughter with this. Right? She'll be like, no, daddy, that's not you. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it just excellent wow. when you actually travel to France? Ah, so I can do the translation directly. Yeah. I don't even need to, uh, to like Google or something. No. Mm. Yeah, this is interesting. Right? I like it. There you go. Wow, thank, thank you. you. Sir, thank you, Miss Naila. Thank you so much. Thank you, Leila. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. So it's as easy as that. Can uh, you imagine? Ah, nice. It's interesting. That is so cool. Mm. So where did you buy the furniture? Yep, I bought this one at uh, Furniture Palace. Okay. Along Mombasa Road. All right. I, I liked the, the, the colors at okay. that time. They yeah. were really bright. When, uh, when I went to Furniture Palace, when they were displayed, uh, mm around the corner there, they were the first uh, seat that I saw. Yeah. And they just struck they me. They caught your attention. Uh, yeah. And uh, I got interested in them. I didn't even uh, have much time to choose because I'm a poor chooser. I will take all the time there. Yeah. So I normally just want to go to a shop. Yes. Once I identify one particular thing, yes. I go with it. If okay. it's nice, it's nice. Yeah. I will decide later if I made a wrong decision or but once I like it, yeah. That's what I go with it. So yeah. 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 And the cushions as well? Yeah, they came with the, all the cushions. They came with the, all the cushions. You have good taste, I must say. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nobody Thank can you. judge you. I mean, you put eh? a color that's neutral. No one can judge you. They're like, <laughs> you got good taste. I mean, Thank anyone you. would sit here and feel comfortable. Yes. Um, and, and, and it's very cozy as well. Plus yeah. the table? Yeah. The, no, the table I think I bought at uh, Odds, Odds okay. and End. Yeah. Okay. What did you like no? about it? It's large enough to... Yeah, the, 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 the wood is more of, uh, you know, authentic mm -hmm. kind of uh, hoodings. Yeah. As in, and then it's very strong also. Yeah. Uh, those steady. are the things that caught my attention with it. Because okay. I like uh, authentic stuff, you know. Lovely. More of uh, something you can go to Congo uh, and uh, carve from there and yes. just carry home. So. Yes. It was more authentic. The authenticity is what for attracted it, me. It worked for you. Yes. Plus the carpets. Plus the carpets. I bought at the same place. Okay. Yeah. And the dining area. Let's move to the dining area. Uh -huh. I see you also got the same style. Um, the wood authentic yes. style. Yeah, it was supposed to match with the with the with the the sitting room table. Okay. And that's why I chose the color. All right. And also the, the wooden structure, the wooden uh, feel. Yes. The, For the table. Yes, mahogany. Yeah. Yeah, so it was the same, same decision that I made with the, the chair. How often do you entertain? You seem to have lots of spaces to entertain. Plus, uh -huh. I mean, through the window, I can see you have. Uh, uh, an outdoor. A common area. Yes. Uh, I don't do a lot of. Uh, Parties. Uh, parties here, but once in a while when I have like a family or a guest from outside the country, they normally prefer having Nyamachoma, you know, yes. from the gardens there. Yes. But uh, not as always, only when they come, when they come around. But uh, there's enough space there, I can okay. host mm -hmm. like almost 30 people. Okay. 30 to 50 people, so once in a while we do that. But it's been a while since I had a party there. <laughs> so do you cook? Uh, yes, I can cook, uh -huh. but uh, most of the time we just get a cook to cook for us. Okay, but yes. on a daily basis, how does on it On a daily work? basis, yes, I, I, I can cook, but most of the time yeah. I eat from outside. Okay. I don't cook daily, okay. but once in a while. Yeah, okay. But I'm a good cook, I can cook, I cook so well. Okay. Yes, and I love cooking. And you love cooking. Yes. Talk to me about the art piece right behind us. Ah, this, this one? Yes. This piece oh, has an interesting story because uh -huh. uh -huh. it was my birthday, yes. I think two years ago. Okay. And then a fan uh -huh. came with it and left it at the reception at of the our office. office at Radio Jumbo, yes. So when I, when I opened it, I'm like, I, who did this? Mm -hmm. And uh, where did he get this uh, photo? Uh -huh. So when I check my Instagram, mm -hmm. this person probably picked this photo from my Instagram. Oh. And then uh, did this, okay. and uh, presented to me at the at the station there. Okay. But uh, do you know they never left their contact? That's a shame. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know if it was just a surprise. He didn't want to be contacted. Because uh -huh. I've looked. I've, I've gone to Google to 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 check on those uh, uh, print uh, right uh, company that is right there, but yeah. I've never found them. Okay. So it was more of a surprise, yes. and I liked it. I just yes. decided to come and put it here. Yeah. I don't know the person. Actually, if uh, maybe somebody watching and is the one who did this, they should contact me so that I can appreciate them. Yeah. They just brought it as a gift, Yes. left it there at yeah. the reception, and went as a birthday gift. 
Wow. Up to now. Beautiful. It's so And uh, I realized that it took the photo from my Instagram. Okay. Because there's no any other place that I've shared the Source. photo. With. Yes. <laughs> it's such a beautiful yeah. picture. Yeah, that's me and uh, my daughter in Paris. Okay. I think two years ago. All right. Yeah. What did you like about this house and how big is it? Uh, this is a, a four bedroom house. Okay. And uh, the. <coughs> The reason I liked it because uh, it's the environment. Yes. Very secure. Mm -hmm. When you come to the gate, by the time you reach here, you would have <laughs> really passed through, you know, yeah. all the corners and everything. Yeah. And then, of course, the space outside. Yes. I like the small garden outside there. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, you know, the dining area, the openness. Yes. You know, with the kitchen. Yeah. And uh, and everything. Yeah. That's actually what attracted me to. To, to this house. Okay. So, yeah. so at a young, an early age, you mm. guys started singing while you're still in high school. Yes. And you started making money then. Yes. And you've just mentioned you grew up in Dandon Dandora. Dandora. Mm. I mean, I know you, your family are about 10 of you, right? Yes. Um, it wasn't easy for you. It was a very difficult childhood mm. just growing up yes and today we see lots of young people really getting lost mm -hmm. um, especially from that kind of background mm -hmm. where they feel hopeless and there is no hope mm. uh, maybe you can talk to us about how that felt for you then and where you are today what kind of a mindset did you have at the time you know it depends on uh, your purpose and yeah. uh, what you want to achieve in life mm -hmm. as a young person yeah mm -hmm. Because uh, when you're growing up in an environment where there are so many challenges, mm -hmm. from family mm -hmm. to even the environment, mm -hmm. to even uh, you know how to even afford basic needs mm -hmm. like uh, food, mm -hmm. it becomes really challenging. So it's up to you as the person to tell yourself, mm -hmm. do I want to change the situation? Mm -hmm. Do I want to uh, you know move to the next level? Mm -hmm. And for us, we had that opportunity to you know, ask ourselves several questions. Do I want to pursue, uh, for, for example, education mm -hmm. and also combine it with uh, our talent mm -hmm. so that we, we can achieve something at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. And I think that determination mm -hmm. is what has uh, placed people like us where we are mm -hmm. from uh, that background. Because if you ask me, my entire uh, adult life or young to adult life has been around entertainment. I started as a, as a musician mm -hmm. when I was still in high school. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I did radio. Mm -hmm. I'm now in my 16 years on radio, you know. I've uh, gone to school, I have masters from uh, Strathmore. Yeah. People probably expect me to be, you know, a senior CEO somewhere or something like that. Yeah. But I decided to pursue what I love doing. Yes. Yes. And that's talking to people, okay. you know. If you listen to my show, it's more of uh, conversations around issues yes. uh, from relationship to common stories about what's going on in community and all that. Yes. So for me, I would like to just tell young people, especially those who are coming from an uh, uh, environment where there are a lot of challenges, mm -hmm. don't give up. Mm -hmm. You never know what will get you through. In Sheng, to Sema, Ujui Kwenye, Itakufanya Upenye. Kupenye means coming out of that environment. Mm -hmm. There are quite a number of, of, of young guys who are very talented in, in, for example, football. Yes. Yes. And some of them have really done us proud from that environment. Yes. You know, when you talk of somebody like Akina Urigis, mm -hmm. we grew up with them in the same environment. And now they're doing well in Europe and some other places. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's some who have done music, there's some who have done fashion, yes. there's some who have done... So it depends on how the opportunity you get don't wait for one particular thing, because some of them maybe wait, say that, you know what, let me go to school, then go to, get a job or something like that. No, don't wait. Just go to school, yes. But if there's a, a talent that you have yeah. that can take you far, yeah. pursue it, go with it. Nah, and that's how Utapenya. Just that's my message. For our listeners, some of them, you know, for our viewers, yes. who have perhaps haven't had your music, mm -hmm and they don't know who Gidi Gidi Maji is mm -hmm. <laughs> and the kind of indelible mark you left in uh -huh. the industry I'm sure it's been over 20 years since you actually mm. were on stage performing yes. as an artist Yes. maybe now you do it for fun Yes. 
um, talk to us about the three iconic songs mm. that to date are still trending. The mm -hmm. uh -huh. Atoti, uh -huh. Malo. <laughs> <laughs> so you know all of them, ah, that's I interesting. Do know them. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. I do, I, and I want you to actually sing them because uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, we cannot have the artist here and he's not singing for us, right? And what was his inspiration? What are you feeling at the time and why? And Boga, but why the name and Boga, you know, at the time? Um, I'm sure you've uh, said that many times. But many, for the sake of times. people who haven't had it, uh, that song never grows old. Mm. Yeah. Let, let me let me let me start by just mentioning that uh, we started doing music when we were still in high school, mm -hmm. and our first song was done around 1998, 99. There, that's the song "Ting Barimalo." Mm -hmm. That's the one that you know gave us now the platform, the bigger platform, because yes. it became a hit all over. Yes. Then the year 2000, we did our first album mm -hmm. called Ismarwa, which had so many songs, around 18. 18 song and I know some of them you've never even heard but uh, yeah. it was a big 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 album okay 18 songs 18 songs mm -hmm. you guys it, put together yes an album in the year 2000 unbelievable the year 2000 okay then, so that album had unbogable uh, no mm -hmm. unbogable was uh, done in 2002 okay 2002 during the the elections of 2002 yeah. and I know most people associated with the uh, elections at that time, yes. although for us, it was not about the elections. Yeah. We've told this story severally. People don't believe that that song was not for elections. Yeah. We did that song purely out of frustration that we were going through in life at that time. Interesting. And I remember one day Maji came, I was in campus at that time, yeah. uh, uh, KCA. Mm -hmm. So when Maji, Maji, Maji came and told me, hey, Bona, what do we do now? We are just from doing an album. And uh, we are still not making money, you yeah, know. Yeah. May have decided to go back to campus mm -hmm. and pursue my education. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'd already given up. I'm like, me, I don't want to do music anymore. Yeah. Then, uh, but uh, Maji was like, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. And then I told Maji, by the way, mm -hmm. I think we are unbogable. I am unbogable. It was more of like giving yourself that, you know, is it eh, morale. Yeah? Bogo is a bogo bogo is a luo word meaning uh, uh, to scare. Okay. So when you when you you put the you the an, I it see. means I am unbogable. You can't scare me. Okay. You're so, good with lyrics. Ah, uh, <laughs> creativity. You should go back <laughs> as a legend and do one last time, you know. So in the year 2002 is when we did the song Unbogable, mm -hmm. and it became an instant hit mm -hmm. all over. And the politicians jump into it, yeah. all radio station. Yeah. There are so many stories around it that I can't even explain right now, but okay. there are so many. One memorable, you must tell us one memorable story uh -huh. about uh -huh. Unbogable. One memorable story, yes. which I think also changed African music, yeah. which I've never, we've never told anyone, yeah. is that immediately uh, Unbogable became a hit. We got a record deal, one of the biggest record deals at that time. And we were actually the first urban Kenyan music to get such a deal with Galo Records in South Africa. Wow. You know, when they called us there, we were still young and naive. Yes. We were in a boardroom. Uh -huh. So during that meeting, mm -hmm. those executives were telling us that the next big thing in Africa mm -hmm. is African music, mm -hmm. urban music, sorry. Because mm -hmm. you know, at that time, we had the Afrofusion, mm -hmm. where we had Miriam Makeba, we had uh, Lucky Dube, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of music at that time. Yeah. But there was no urban music. Mm -hmm. So they told us, even MTV is coming to Africa. Mm -hmm. I know at that time MTV was just only, I think, America and Europe. Mm -hmm. There was no MTV in Africa. Mm -hmm. So you guys are the first artist that we are signing as urban artist because there's going to be a boom in African music. And that's the year 2002, 2003. Mm -hmm. And you know, for us, we were like, ah, what are these people talking about? Mm -hmm. We are just from Kenya, and uh, you know, we are just doing our stuff around there. Mm -hmm. But years later, mm -hmm. When now things 
started changing. Mm -hmm. in when, is when now we are seeing mm -hmm. what these people are talking about. Because immediately after that, mm -hmm. we saw record labels in uh, Nigeria, which the executives told that they are going to open studios in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We saw a boom in uh, uh, music in uh, East Africa. Mm -hmm. Uh, we saw the artists like Akina Two-Face in Dibia at that time, mm -hmm. uh, Dibanj, mm -hmm. yeah, immediately for that, Aircon. Mm -hmm. Those were products of that meeting. They normally remind us, and of course us. Mm -hmm. And uh, 20 years later, Afrobeat is the biggest thing in the world right now. Unbelievable. Very unbelievable. And sometimes we sit down and we're like, you mean those guys were serious? Because they told us the kind of investment that is coming for to African urban music. Mm -hmm. And they told us this song mm -hmm. is one of the proofs that uh, urban music in Africa can rise and we are going to pump in a lot of money mm -hmm. in that. And they purposely did that. They opened studios all over and encouraged uh, uh, media stations all over Africa. Okay. And uh, it, it, was, it was... So we feel proud sometimes that we were pioneers or part of the journey of yeah. uh, Afrobeat yes. and uh, or Afro... Uh, urban music yes. that has now taken over the world. That is impressive. You see, like, again, like, Davido can come to Kenya and earn over 50 million. By that time, even uh, even the likes of, uh, like, Dube could not. But now, mm. it's huge. Banner Boy, yes. the biggest artist in the world right now. Yes. So it was a journey, it's been and a journey. Uh, we feel like we were part of that journey, yes. and we are proud. Yeah. yeah. So that song, Unbogable, took us places. <laughs> How is your relationship with Maji Maji now? We are, we are good friends. We are still good friends. Okay. Sometimes we, we meet. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, you were with him, yeah? Okay. So we, 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 we share ideas, we share our memories. Yeah. You know, sometimes we have the pressure to go back to the studio, but you know, the yeah. energy of singing at our age. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, especially. You know no, you know, the kind of music that we did, the, the hip hop book, yeah. or rap. Mm -hmm. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't last long. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a, a music of a certain time. After a certain time... A season. Yes, yeah, season. You know? You see somebody like Jay-Z. Yeah. He's no longer releasing songs. Not that he can't. Yeah. He can if he want to. Mm -hmm. But the energy, you know? And then priorities also. We are doing so many other stuff on the side. Okay. I'm in radio. Maji is also in radio. Okay. So sometimes we are like, okay, if you guys want us to perform, we'll prepare for it. But you know, with... Uh, it would be nice uh, for you guys to do <laughs> a, a memoir or something. Uh -huh. You know, you remind people this. Just go back on stage. Just the same songs, not yes. new songs. We, we've been uh, thinking of doing such. Yeah. Yeah. So very soon, probably, yeah. maybe, yeah. when we, we get the time and we decide, or when we get the pressure from maybe the fans, yes. we might do it. We might, we might do, uh, you know, one, one last time eh? yes, <laughs> kind I, of show. Okay, yes. you, you're going to you're gonna sing for us. But before we do that, we want mm. to talk about investments. Yes. Because you got money at an early age. Mm -hmm. What are those tips that you have that you can share with other artists and other young people mm. when you get lump sum of money or when you're making money what are those smart things that you did at a younger age to have this kind of investment um what what i can say is that uh, when you are in the music or uh, entertainment generally mm -hmm. uh, there's a period that probably you are going through what i can call a boom mm -hmm. where maybe you're getting a lot of money mm -hmm. And uh, if you're not careful, mm -hmm. that is the only opportunity maybe you'll ever have in your life mm -hmm. to make that money. Mm -hmm. After that, you know, your value goes down mm -hmm. or maybe your popularity diminishes. Mm -hmm. diminishes mm -hmm. So you have to, you know, struggle again to get another opportunity. Mm -hmm. So for us, the good thing that we had gone through several such stages. Okay. Remember I told you uh, after we did our first album, mm -hmm. Uh, we didn't get a lot of money after that. Mm -hmm. And we were so demoralized with music. We were even giving up. Mm -hmm. So it was more of like a, a lesson at that time. What can we do better? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. well, after we did Unbogable, we started investing in, uh, you know, merchandises. At that time, no one was doing merchandise. Mm -hmm. And then we were also uh, doing shows all over. Uh, like, uh, you know, going across the border. We did American tour, European tour, South African tour, African mm -hmm. tour. Mm -hmm. And the money we were getting, we were so careful with it. We would tell ourselves, you know what, mm -hmm. 
let's push on this, buy land here, buy land here, buy land here. Actually, we're just investing in land. Of course. Yes. Then eventually, after we joined now radio, of course, the good thing with the radio, there's guarantee salary mm -hmm. that you, you, you earn there. Mm -hmm. And then plus also other projects that we do on the side, you know, endorsements and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of how are you planning all your, uh, oh, yes. uh, your revenue streams? How are you putting them together mm -hmm. and investing somewhere? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you'll find that there's a land that, uh, that's an example, yeah, mm -hmm. that you bought like f uh, 12 years ago, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. that has increased in value. Mm -hmm. You sell it and then you buy a property, mm -hmm. an apartment, mm -hmm. or you buy a house, mm -hmm. or something like that. So it's just about planning and looking at the future because with entertainment, never assume that you'll be there forever. Right now, no one, no one is even talking about Gidi Gidi Maji Maji, but uh, many years ago, it was the talk of town. All those people still recognize us as Gidi Gidi Maji Maji. Yeah. But for me right now, I'm more known for radio yeah. than even music. Yes. Especially with the Gen Zs. Yes. When they see me, they're like, then, then when I'll show you a video I met Aziad. Aziad is one of these top uh, influencers. Yeah. And then we were just chatting, chatting. Then she overheard uh, Jalas. I was with Jalas uh, telling, um, talking to Jalas about music and everything. Then she was like, you mean you're the one who did Unbogable? Can like, you find she didn't know she didn't she couldn't yeah yeah <laughs> she yeah, couldn't, yeah. She couldn't uh, add one plus one yes then uh, when i asked her Kwani, how old were you when that song was done i'm like i was two years old oh no wonder no wonder you don't know <laughs> so it happens yeah. they only recognize me for radio yes than uh, than the music so things change so fast in the entertainment yeah so if you are pursuing entertainment like right now i'm seeing a lot of young people doing content especially on TikTok, and they're earning quite a, a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, my advice, just invest somewhere. Do okay. something okay. so that uh, later, when now your fame goes yeah. down, yeah. you have something to, yes. to, to fall back on. Yes. But most importantly, yeah. do not leave uh, education side. Mm -hmm. Try to pursue as much as you can, even if it's in that particular mm -hmm. area. If it's content, mm -hmm concentrate on uh, digital marketing mm -hmm. and, and everything so that it can help you mm -hmm. as a fallback plan. Mm -hmm. Because we've not reached that level as a country mm -hmm. where you can say that artists can earn mm -hmm. from entertainment fully. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is coming. Mm -hmm. I can see some uh, artists are, re, uh, are, are more of, uh, doing their stuff and they are earning mm -hmm. from endorsements and everything. Mm -hmm. But it has not reached that level where, for example, mm -hmm. an artist can feel mm -hmm a stadium mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very few very, very few can do that I very agree. few can do that I agree. yeah I agree. so we come back to the house and i see you play golf hello <laughs> 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 and, uh, those are some of the things that you do for mm. yourself would you say you have reached um where you, you're, you had a dream as a young person. Yes. Would you say today you have it all? No. And uh, I don't know why you started by you play golf and then you brought up that question. <laughs> because I, 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 there's, I, I, normally, there's normally this assumption that if you play golf, yeah. then uh, you maybe you've reached time. another yes. level or mm. something like that. But mm. remember golf is just a sport like any other sport. And uh, also, if I uh, go back to Kidogo, I started playing golf because of the circle of friends that uh, I'd already acquired at some point. And this circle of friends, not necessarily rich people, they're average uh, friends. For me, I chose to play golf because it's one of the easiest form of uh, uh, exercise okay. that I could do. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I work very early in the morning. Yeah. I wake up at around 3 a.m. to yeah. 4 a.m. Yeah. Then I sit. Yeah. on the seat there yeah. on my radio show yeah. until 10. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I have choice of going to the gym or going for a walk. Mm -hmm. So gym, I realize when I go to the gym, I don't even spend 30 minutes in the gym. I do, you know, treadmill kidogo, then I, I give up. Yeah. But with golf, the advantage with golf, you have to walk four hours. Mm -hmm. Once you start from T1, mm -hmm. you have to walk for all those four hours. Okay which translate to around 15, 10, between 10 to 15 kilometers, depending on how you're hitting the ball. If you're yeah. going to the forest a lot yeah. or to the bushes, you'll spend yeah. more time walking. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're going straight, around 10 kilometers. 
So you can imagine if I play three or four times a week, what do you get the amount of exercise that I've done? That is excellent. So it's yeah. not about you are rich, it's about exercise also. <laughs> we agree, you read a lot too. The, yes. You read a lot, you're a scholar. Yes. Okay. Um, what kind of books do you read? Um, I do a lot of uh, academic books. Okay. Yes, not the, not the motivational books, uh -huh. not the how to get rich in 20 days, those type of books, no. <laughs> I, only reach, I only read uh, academic books. I'm curious to see how your upstairs looks like. Uh-huh. That's a podcast studio, a small podcast studio. So we can go upstairs? Uh, no problem. No Wonderful. problem. We can. Oh, I like the expansive window. So beautiful. Ah. Oh, yeah. And the design as well. Yes. You're um, huge on white painting and huge windows, right? Expansive yes. windows. Yeah, yes. I like a lot of lighting. Okay. Lighting. Okay. And then uh, the, the house uh, sometimes get a lot of uh, quite uh, hot. So yes. I prefer bright color so that it, uh, you know, reflects yeah. the light. Yeah. Or what? the heat or something. Is, is this one of the reasons why you got this house? Did you build the house or did you buy it off No, land? no, I, it was just bought off land. Okay. Like, I like this window around the stairs. Yeah. Huge, and then you put the shear on it. On it. Like you've observed, I don't do curtains. Yes. Because I, I like a lot of lighting. Okay. I never do curtains in any of my houses. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I like the, the high ceiling as well. Oh, it yeah. It gives the space a lot of room. Yes. And make it makes it more spacious. Yes. As well. Yes. Minimalistic. Minimalistic, minimalistic guy. <laughs> I see what you've done with this space. It's uh, equally very minimalistic. Uh -huh. uh, but I like uh -huh. the fact that you have huge windows, very sophisticated and very airy. Thank you. Again, your white walls. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the floor. It's wooden. Yes. It feels very warm. Yes. Did you do this or was it, did it come with no, the house? No, no. This one came with the house. Okay. I, I think it was the developers who did this. But I think it's good for the bedroom to always yeah. have uh, uh, this smooth kind of texture. Yes. Uh, because, you know, uh, when you come for the bathroom, yeah. it's not slippery. Yeah. And uh, also it gives that warmth uh, because... Uh, there's a lot of heat uh, that comes around the environment. Yeah. So you have to make it warm a little bit in the house. I agree. Yes. This bed is quite nice. Uh -huh. um, it's black. You know, yes. the headboard is black. Very yes. different from what I've seen. Uh -huh. uh, in terms of your interior decor downstairs. Uh -huh. uh, why did you go for black? Um, I think it again you didn't want to choose anything. It you, is exactly it, like, it exactly what I found. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't choose it. I like that. I like that. Then I thought it will complement with the wall, which is white. Okay. So when you have black and then the white background, okay, it brings out that uh, you know, yeah, different feel, different yeah. kind of feel. Okay. So Gide, you are a creative, very artistic, you know, even when I'm standing here, I see lots of beautiful views mm -hmm. from the window. What, where do you get your inspiration from as a person? What do you wake up to? What, and, and why do you think you're so, what, what makes you so successful to date? Uh, difficult question, but I think being real is uh, what makes me, you know, be who I am. Mm -hmm. I normally don't like pretending. Mm -hmm. Like when you guys came here, I didn't even plan anything. You just found me the way it was. Yeah. You know, even my bed, look at how it's uh, not uh, well yes. <laughs> done. Yes. But uh, that being really, I and mean, yeah. being just authentic. Yeah. Actually, authenticity. Yes. That's what makes me, you know, yeah. be able to uh, do whatever I do or achieve whatever I achieve. Okay. So, me, I draw my inspiration from. Uh, uh, having to talk to real people, yeah. conversing with real people, even yeah. on my radio show. Yes. It's more of like a reality show. Yes. Uh, when uh, somebody calls me mm -hmm. and they're talking about their issue, it's the real issue. And those are the things that make me happy. I Being should real. host you on your own show. <laughs>
Upatanisho, right? Upatanisho. Ni kupatanisho. Hey, we'll see how that goes, right? I'm, yes. I'm sure that would be a, a really cool show. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, but I, I like the sound of that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, you like being authentic, authentic. you like being real, yes. and that has made you very successful. And I think you are equally very grounded. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to be in five years? In five years, maybe being able to have uh, my own, for example, like a factory okay. or some kind of investment mm -hmm. that is uh, earning me, you know, mm -hmm. uh, something to be able to pay my school fees, to be able to enjoy myself, go for holidays and everything like that. Yeah. I just want that comfort, being comfortable in another level. I'm yeah. comfortable here now yeah. at the yeah. moment, yeah. but just being able to be comfortable on another level where you don't struggle so much, you don't have to you know, uh, do a lot of stuff to yeah. make things work, yeah. you know. Yeah. You just want to be at a level where you are now just Money managing. Money is make, working for you. Thank you. That's Money is working the, for you. That's the level that I want to be. You will get and there. And that's where now you can feel, you can say that yeah. probably you're almost reaching somewhere. Okay. Yes. What lessons have you learned in life through all the journey as mm -hmm. a music, a um, former music artist, a renowned mm -hmm. former music artist? Mm -hmm. As a radio presenter, you have your own podcast. What lessons have you learned over time? One of the biggest lessons that I've learned is uh, being consistent. Mm -hmm. When uh, you decide to do something, when you do it repeatedly mm -hmm. and you work on maybe your mistakes mm -hmm. uh, before, mm -hmm. it will make you achieve a lot. For mm -hmm. example, when we are doing music, mm -hmm. at some point we were giving up, mm -hmm. but you know, we had to you know, go back Mm -hmm. and push mm -hmm. and it took us somewhere mm -hmm. and one of our biggest uh, highlights yeah. was uh, being able to get uh, a record deal which mm -hmm. we did an album mm -hmm. and that's the biggest achievement that an artist can ever achieve of course with selling uh, yeah. records and yeah. everything yeah. when it's come to uh, radio mm -hmm. i've been able to produce um, or to create one of the biggest segment mm -hmm in radio right now in the country mm -hmm. and being able to have one of the biggest radio shows mm -hmm. and uh, it all goes back to being consistent mm -hmm. when we started you know you don't know mm -hmm. how you how you will end up you don't know if uh, maybe after one year uh, the managers will tell you that uh, you don't have the numbers you don't have the audience so yeah. we are scrapping off this show yeah. but you can you can imagine 16 years yeah. we are still going strong we are still on top there after yes. 16 years so I can say being consistent in yeah. uh, whatever you do yeah. can always take you far. You had so for the artists, that's the advice you you're giving them. Definitely, music, upcoming definitely. Artists. Don't yeah. give up. Never yeah. give up. If you start yeah. something, yeah. content creation. Yes. If you take a particular theme, stick yeah. with it. Yeah. Just keep on improving it yeah. until you achieve something. Yeah. yeah. Any regrets in life? I don't. I don't want to call them regret okay. because in life. Not everyone is able to achieve everything at the same time. Yeah. You might find that, for example, you concentrate on another area mm -hmm. and you leave another area. For example, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. I concentrated a lot on my career mm -hmm. in music and, of course, radio, mm -hmm. and then with my education. Mm -hmm. And maybe I didn't manage maybe setting up my family earlier, yes. you know? Yeah. So it's not a regret, yeah. but it's more of a, you know, Striking the balances. Yeah. You can never have a, have a situation where you're balancing everything in life. Yeah. There are some that will be ahead of others, yeah. and then there are some that will be behind. Yeah. So me, I don't want to call anything a regret or a challenge. Mm -hmm. I just want to uh, say that there are things in life that you can uh, never be at par with everyone. You're you your own to, person. You have to, yeah, you have to try kind of try and, and, and balance. Mm -hmm. And probably maybe if uh, you start earlier, mm -hmm. maybe the better when you have that balance. But you know when you are young, mm -hmm. you can never have that balance because you are thinking of so many things at the same time. Mm -hmm. You want to pursue your degree, you want to pursue your master's at the same time, uh, you want to uh, help your family at home. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you also want to uh, start your own family. Yeah. And then at the same time, you're also going through uh, peer pressure here and there. So yes. it's quite a challenge. Okay. Yeah. All right. Before we wrap up, Miss Producer, you know he has to sing for us. <laughs> <laughs> Nerea, please. Uh, you know, uh, I, 
I, I, we don't sing per se, but uh, we He we, has to rap. rap so. Yeah, he has to rap <laughs> for us. He has the three. <laughs> you have to before. I mean, I want the viewers. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna help me. Absolutely. Okay, you ready? Yes. Well, la 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 well. What the hell is you looking for? And I am you will make money anymore. Who are you? Who are you? What are you? Who the hell do you think you are? Do you know me? Do I know you? Get the hell out of the first because me, I am a Pogeto. I am a Pogeto. Who can Pogeto me? Hey, who can Pogeto me? Who can Hey, I am an bogabo. Thank you. Hey, out of living fans, we are an bogabo. Thank you for being so authentic and for being so real. Thank you. And we have learnt a lot from you. We Thank wish you. you the very best. Make sure you listen to his station. I mean, to his Radio podcast. Jumbo and my yes. podcast online. Yes. Online, yes. yes. Upatanisha, you might get that <laughs> man, that woman you are looking for. This is the hooker rapper. Ah. Thank you guys for watching. This was an amazing show. Thank you for watching, for keeping us here every Sunday. From the crew and I, we wish you a, ha a wonderful evening every Thursday, 8 p.m. I've been your host, Myla.